In this video, you're going to learn how to put objects or text behind you like this within CapCut. And honestly, this might be a process that looks a lot harder than it actually is, especially with how easy CapCut makes everything for you to do. They take a lot of the traditional hard work out of it to make your life so much easier as a video editor. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to put an object behind you. So what we're going to do, we're going to come into our CapCut app and we are going to have some sort of clip uploaded. As you can see here, I have a short nine second clip uploaded just to really show you how to get this object behind you the easiest way possible. So we have our clip highlighted. What we're going to want to do first, we're going to want to make sure the clip is highlighted. We're going to come to the bottom of our screen. We're going to scroll until we find duplicate. Now we're going to press duplicate. We're going to stay at the bottom of the page. The next thing we're going to want to do is press on overlay. So we press on overlay and now you can see the two clips are offset. So what we're going to want to do, we're going to want to press and hold on this second clip. And we're going to drag it to the left until it's perfectly even with our first clip. Now we're going to make sure that the second clip is highlighted and then we're going to come to the bottom of the page again and we're going to scroll until we see remove background. So we're going to press on remove background. We're going to press on auto removal and we are gonna wait until this process happens. Once you get the okay from CapCut that the background has been removed, we're gonna press this check mark, and now we have two separate clips. I know it doesn't look like that. A good way to tell if the background was actually removed from the clip if you just wanna check it. You still have the bottom clip highlighted. You just come to the image itself. You just press and you just drag it around. As you can see, I'm moving it around and there's no background to the clip that I am moving. So I'm just gonna undo that movement. Now we are going to have the capability of adding that object behind us. So as you can see now, we have nothing highlighted. We just have two clips. We have our original clip and our clip with the removed background. The next step is to add overlay. So we're going to press on this add overlay button at the bottom. And when you press that, your camera roll is going to open. You're going to want to add whatever picture, object, whatever you have on your camera roll to this actual video. So now we have this picture of the CapCut logo. I'm just going to make it as long as the video itself. And as you can see, it's not behind us. This isn't the point of what we wanted to do. But the first thing we want to do, we want to, you know, make whatever adjustments to the object you want to do. I'm going to keep it this size. You can resize it if you want. You can add some sort of animation to it. Let's just add a quick animation to it. I like that one. That one's simple. So we're going to add that to it. Now to make sure we have this object behind us, we're going to come back to the bottom of our screen. We're going to scroll until we find layers. So we see layers, we press on layers, and you see at the bottom of the screen, we have two of the overlays that we put on this video. So the first one is that duplicated video without a background, and the second one is our object. The next step, all we have to do is flip these two. So you can either press and hold on the object and move it to the right to flip the two itself, or you can press these arrows on the side just to move between the layers. And this is something that's going to come in handy if you're adding multiple overlays on any video that you're doing. So once we do that, we press on the check mark. And as you can see, if we press on the video now, the object is behind us. It is that simple. We don't have to do anything else. The next steps is just to edit the video how you want to. But as you can see, we have our object behind us exactly how we needed it to be. And from there, we can export our video exactly the way we want it. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you is how to put that text behind you within CapCut. Now, the process of putting text behind us compared to putting an object behind us is extremely similar, but there are going to be a couple differences and that's what you're going to see right now. So again, to start this process, we have our clip uploaded in the cap cut. We highlight that clip. We come to the bottom of the screen again and we come all the way to duplicate again. We duplicate it. Now we overlay that clip. So we stay on the bottom of our screen. We press on overlay. Now we need to drag that clip back over to the beginning of the clip. And now we have that first layer overlaid. Now we make sure that overlaid clip is highlighted. We come back to the bottom. We remove the background, auto removal. And once the background is removed, we are ready to add our text. So we press on the check mark. We make sure nothing is highlighted. We press our arrow back. 
Now we are just going to simply come to the bottom of our screen. We press on text and we are going to press on add text. So this is where we can add whatever text we want. I'm just going to put text behind a subject. And then this is where we actually stylize it. We want to stylize it in a certain way. However you want to stylize it, that's up to you. But I'm going to stylize it like this. I'm going to style. Just make it yellow so it's very easy to see. And I might even add some sort of animation. Uh, yeah, this one, I like this one. So from here, I'm going to resize this text so it makes more sense. To, you can actually see it behind me. You can see that there's actually something behind me. Then I'm going to press on this check mark. And I can double check to make sure that my text is how I want it to be. Once it is, I'm going to extend it to the rest of the clip. Okay. Now, we are going to come back to the bottom of our screen, and this is where the similarities between the object and the text is going to be, the process is going to be exactly the same. So we scroll along the bottom, we make sure the text itself is highlighted, but we come to the bottom, we press on layers, and you have the same exact thing to do right here. You can either press and drag it, or you can use the arrows to drag it to whatever layer you actually want. So we're going to make sure that it's behind the removed background layer. We press on the check mark, and if I press play, we should have our text appear behind us. So if I press play, you see the text is behind us, and the rest of the video goes on as it should, and you don't have to do anything else to keep the text there, to keep that object behind you, to keep that text behind you with end cap cut. And now what did I say? I told you that process looks a little bit harder than it actually is. And I hope this tutorial showed you how easy this could actually be for all of your videos moving forward. Now adding an object, adding text behind you in any video, that's going to be something that is different, that's gonna help keep your audience's attention. It's going to be something that is very good for your videos overall. And as you can see, there aren't many steps to actually making that happen. So hopefully you can actually start doing this moving forward with the rest of your content. But other than that, that's all I have for you. If this was a video that you enjoyed, please leave a comment. Please like the video. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button because I'm gonna be churning out these videos as much as possible. And again, that's gonna be something that not only helps me, but it's gonna help you too, because I want to help you become the best content creator you can possibly be, a lot with using CapCut, a lot with using different social media platforms as well. But other than that, that's all I got for you. My name's Steven, catch you in the next one. Peace.